The Sons and Daughters Podcast. Discover and walk in the life that Jesus lives inside of you. Hosted by Andy and Tina Hayner, leaders of Full Speed Impact Ministry. Hi, welcome to the Sons and Daughters Podcast. I'm Tina Hayner, and this is my rockin' husband. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man, I just never feel like I can live up to the billing with her, but it's nice to have a woman that uh, loves you uh, for through the eyes of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I have to say that I'm actually very impressed with my wife. She always is introducing me, and she's already in, already introduced herself, but I think <laughs> she's pretty amazing too. So, thank brothers you. and sisters, thank you so much for joining us. We um, are looking forward to another time of fellowship where we can encourage you to recognize yourself the way that God recognizes you. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he looks right at your spirit, and like it says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 4, Christ who is your life when he is revealed. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be revealed with him in glory. glory. (laughs) Like I like to tell people, listen, Jesus is already glorious. And uh, it's just going to be revealed on that day. Mm -hmm. And according to the word of God, yes, Mm -hmm. that he's already glorified you Uh, in Romans, uh, was it 8, uh, 29 and 30, Mm -hmm. that uh, those that he foreknew he predestined those he predestined he also called those he called he justified and those that he justified not one day in the future will he glorify (laughs) but he has has glorified glorified. god is not bound by time Mm -hmm. the way that you and i are Mm -hmm. uh and so it's nice to know that god uh, sees the the end from the beginning declares it and what he declares comes to pass that's right his word does not come back void or empty or unfruitful. No, that is so true. That is so true. Um, so today we're going to talk about Tina's favorite subject. Uh, we're, we're going to talk about temptation and dealing with temptation. And, uh, Why I, is that my I was like, what, what are you talking about, sweetie? I mean, you haven't dealt with any temptation till you, since you finally got to marry me, right? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, yeah. well, we, this is for helping other people. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know, it led to a good discussion too about how, um, the, the temptations we face, you know, they change as we, as we grow and change and mature, you know, the things we face when we're younger that are a big deal, um, you know, that we, we grow through it and, um, and become stronger and the versus the things we face in, in midlife and, Mm. and then later on. Right. So we're so, in, we're in the midlife. We're definitely in the midlife. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Not old. Not yeah, old. you know, and often in our culture because of the prevalence of sex and sexual messages and uh, the the easy access mm, to so complete uh, yeah, immorality yeah. Um, that is a, a real issue. And if you look even in the scriptures, uh, you know, at the top of every list when it comes to mm-hmm. talking about sins of the flesh, um, it, it always starts off with sexual immorality sexual or fornication flee, sexual. or something like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, that is that falls into the realm. But, we're, uh, but there are other temptations. Absolutely. And so before we start talking about how to recognize it, how to deal with it, what you know, how to think about it as a son and daughter of God, um, we need to kind of broaden this and realize, you know, there are a, a thousand different kinds of temptations. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, temptations to compromise, to cut corners, to, to covet. Yes. To, 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 to not be, be content. To be jealous, to not forgive, to right. live in bitterness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I would say, not let go of things. you know, or a temptation not to, not to step out in faith to, to, to just, bless somebody else or right, to speak to about stay Jesus. Stay in that comfort zone. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I think that would That's be a huge. great way, you know, even to think about your comfort zone is probably the biggest temptation that you face. Mm-hmm. And I'd say, especially people in, in midlife, you yes. know, you, you hit a stride and yeah, I mean, yeah. when you're young, you're like, give me the mountain, you know, let's yeah, go, you know, let's and go. that's yeah. one of the reasons that we named our son Simeon Caleb. I love Caleb mm-hmm. because as an old man, he's, he's like, like, let me at him. <laughs> yeah, give me, give me the, the part of the land that the giants are in, you know, yeah, I'm I ready want. to take them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, uh, and that's the way we want to live is on fire. And in and, and letting the, the comfort of the Holy Spirit be our only comfort zone. Mm-hmm. I want to live in that in the war zone with Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. having talked about temptations, uh, just in general, kind of broadening our scope from just mm -hmm. um, temptations of the flesh, um, let's talk about uh, what's on your heart. I mean, how do we, as sons and daughters of God, um, I think, you know, we, we want to walk in holiness. We want to walk in victory. Mm -hmm. um, and so, but in this world, we, we will face temptation temptation exactly trouble and trials yeah um mm -hmm. and so we need to be prepared for a lifelong um walk of holiness and mm -hmm. and dealing with temptation on a day you know daily basis whenever it comes up uh because you know as paul said uh, you know walk as wise making the most of your time because these days are evil mm -hmm. uh and so we we do need to recognize that as long as we're in this world that the opportunity from ten, for temptations arise and, and that was a big lesson for me because honestly i think a lot for for the first several years of my christian life i wanted to get to the place where mm -hmm. i was so holy that I nothing wasn't, phased nothing you. tempted me yeah. anymore. I, I think that's I, a I think common the, desire. I had this expectation that somehow I would, I would get beyond being temptable. Mm -hmm. um, and, well, and you know, take some encouragement. The Son of God <laughs> walked this earth, and it and says He was tempted in all always, ways, just, just as, as we, we are. are. Right. And you know, His temptations, honestly, were across the scope he was uh well how did the devil tempt him right yeah with you know? just with hung in his hunger right. and fleshly and you know power yep. power greed to, that kind of environment corners, right you know, worship mm -hmm. me and i'll mm -hmm. i'll make you uh you know mm -hmm. i'll make your kingdom awesome yeah 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 so we're in good company um, and not alone, the Son of God, uh, he faced temptation, and he's not going to leave us or forsake us as we face temptation. Mm -hmm. And um, I think <clears throat> as sons and daughters, um, we have some examples to look back at. I was reading in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10. It's just an awesome place to kind of plant um, for this topic. And um, Paul talks about um, the sons and daughters of God, the Israelites, mm -hmm. um, and how um, things that happened in, the, in their experience were written down for our instruction. Yeah. So in other words, you know, let's, let's pay attention. Let's learn from them. And um, he, uh, he, you know, he talks about in uh, First Corinthians ten thirteen. that's kind of a, of a popular verse of right. no temptation is ever taken. I don't know. You might want to read it. To yes. Those uh, that aren't familiar. See. It says no temptation has overtaken you, but such as is common to man. And God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will provide the way of escape so that you may be able to endure it. Mm -hmm. And the, yeah, the, the thing that just stood out to me was just that the context of that verse was that him instructing the, uh, them that let's look back at them as they were the children of Israel as they were in the wilderness mm. and how um, they didn't recognize they ate the same spiritual food and drank from the same spiritual, spiritual rock, rock which is Christ uh, which is Christ and he says that there he says they didn't recognize that it was it was Jesus the rock mm. Christ our rock following them around supplying them um, they didn't recognize that and so not recognizing Christ with them they they fell into sexual immorality mm -hmm. and grumbling and testing the Lord. And um, and so um, to me, the key is mm -hmm. of, of looking for that way of escape. You're not mm -hmm. tempted any differently than they are. Looking for that way of escape is recognizing Christ, the rock with mm -hmm. us. Yeah. He's our supply. Yeah. You said a, you said a couple of things. Um uh, one author that I read a lot uh, way back in the day, mm -hmm. but still to this day, his, I'm grateful for his influence in my life. Mm -hmm. Although I am no longer a, a Calvinist and he <laughs> remains a, you know, a staunch Calvinist, but part of the things that really blessed me uh, from John Piper's writings yeah. were 
um, his emphasis that the Christian life is essentially delight yourself in, in the, the Lord, Lord, that right. God commands us to find joy in him. God mm -hmm. is passionate about our joy yes. and he wants to supply that joy in a relationship. And so his definition of sin is sin is what happens when you stop delighting mm -hmm. in God. Yeah, and that's and powerful. the Israelites, they were the same thing. You know, they they were really looking, they wanted God to do good things for for, for them, them. Mm -hmm. they were mainly pursuing their blessings um, through God, and when the when hit the path that God chose for them didn't look like the blessings that, that they, they wanted, mm -hmm. uh, they, you know, they 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 wanted, turned on them. <laughs> it, you know, <laughs> really? in, I think it's in Hebrews where it says their hearts were continually turning back to to Egypt. Mm -hmm. You know, they mm -hmm. they honestly they loved onions more than God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> uh, what was comfortable and familiar. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. um, the easy thing mm -hmm. and the comfort zone, mm -hmm. and even slavery had become a bit of a comfort zone because people take care of slaves and they wanted to be taken Material. care of. They, mm -hmm. you know, we'll, listen, we'll do your work. We'll serve you, the world, mm -hmm. um, so long as we can remain secure. Mm -hmm. And I believe that a lot of times people are selling themselves short and not taking the risks uh, that, quote unquote, that faith walk um, mm -hmm. invites us into mm -hmm. uh, with Christ. Um, but I think you really hit on something. The key to that faith walk is recognizing Christ and keeping your eyes fixed on him. Yes, because yes. as soon as you don't, you start grumbling, you become discontent, you no longer see, you're no longer overflowing with mm -hmm. gratitude and recognizing grace wherever you walk. Right. Your eyes are on yourself and even going so far, like, because it said, you know, they tested the Lord. And mm -hmm. that was when that, that part where they were demanding meat. Yeah. It's like, couldn't be content and thankful for what he was providing. Mm -hmm. But here we want, we want what we expect and we, we think it needs to be our way. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Anybody, uh, anybody feeling anything right now? Because I, you know, it kind of that can resonate uh, yes. in a lot of different areas mm -hmm. in your marriage. You know, you know, God, give me, give me the right person, and mm -hmm. and and all of a sudden you're married, and you're a year into this, and you realize, okay, it's not mm -hmm. all just Hollywood <laughs> uh, bedroom romance scenes mm -hmm. and and uh, romantic dinners. Um, but there's this a is lot, hard work. <laughs> a lot of give and take, yeah. a lot of misunderstandings to talk through. Mm -hmm. And if you're not careful, your heart can start lo looking back to Egypt. Mm -hmm. I remember when we were married, um, for about the first year, one of the common temptations that I faced was to do woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah. Because, was this right? You know, we mm -hmm. met in a college ministry and. I was very aware that I was really good looking and a highly sought after commodity at that point <laughs> in my life. Uh, I no longer have the looks that I had at Aww. that point, uh, except in Tina's eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, uh, you, I, I pursued you and I, I was and I was happy to pursue you. Mm -hmm. um, but then you hit the realities of marriage mm -hmm. and that there was temptation to think about well, what if I had pursued so -so, this other person or, or this right, other person mm -hmm. and the, that grass is always greener, greener syndrome. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do that with our jobs and Absolutely, things like that. Yeah. Um, career I mean, path we choose or if we choose career, you know, sometimes women, I think that have um, maybe chosen to be full time in their family uh, with their children. You know, yes. could have, shoulda, coulda, woulda, you know. All my friends mm -hmm. are using their college degrees, and here I, I am, am stuck at home cleaning, changing diapers. And, and, and teaching kids how to read or, you know, whatever. Right. So, yeah, definitely. So, mm -hmm. if when you face those kind of temptations, how do you, how should we handle those things? How mm -hmm. can we mm -hmm. lay hold of things in Christ, recognize them? Um, and then deal with them. Mm -hmm. Well, I think um, that Paul, you know, he had a had a great statement here of um, look for the way of escape. You know, mm -hmm. I think some people, um, when they're tempted, they haven't realized that 
just because you're tempted doesn't mean you have to go there. That's true. You know, just because you are tempted to grumble or tempted to be impatient or, you know, whatever it is, be fearful or, or lie or, or, or lust, you know, mm-hmm. any, any, I mean, we could go down the whole list. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anytime. To steal. <laughs> <laughs> just got to get one. Yeah. yeah got to get Beat your dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, anytime we're tempted that, you know, again, that that pull is strong that temptation may be very strong but you are a new creation in christ nothing says mm. that you have to behave the way you used to the, mm. to think those same ways and, and behave the same ways and so you know recognizing that um look for that way of escape um and uh and uh it it it's as simple mm. as turning in your spirit, turning your soul to Jesus instead of, okay, this is the way I've always gone, or this is what's familiar. Right. And, um, okay, Lord, I'm not going to lie. This is, this is tough. You know, I, I, I I would say maybe it's greed, you know, or Mm. covetousness or something, you know, I, I I really want this. I feel like I need it, Mm. you know, but I can submit that to you, God. Yeah. You know, I can, um, you're here with me. You love me. You provide for me. You, you don't withhold any good thing from me. Um, you know, those kind of things, believing the best about the Lord mm-hmm. and those good things about him. Um, and he, and there he is. He's your way of escape. Yeah. He, you, you've just, you've just jumped out of that burning building. That's not going to satisfy Mm. and and turn to him you know you're saying some really good things that um are bringing some things up for me one is that it says that he will provide the way of escape not a way of escape mm-hmm. there's not like a hundred different situations mm. the the way of escape is jesus said jesus, I, am I am the, the way, way. Mm-hmm. and he, he i am the way to the father right mm-hmm. so the it's really as simple as recognizing that Jesus himself is our access into the presence of God that satisfies. It's not a methodology. It's not quoting a certain thing. It's him. He's the way. Now, Mm -hmm. that doesn't mean stay at the strip joint and just try to (laughs) quote (laughs) verses and and pray. No. Um, no, no. You might, you know, you should do some practical things to to get out. Sexual immorality. Flee immorality. Flee idolatry. Yeah. Right. (laughs) Um, So there's some wisdom about not purposely subjecting yourself to Mm -hmm. temptation or needlessly subjecting yourself mm -hmm, to temptation. Putting yourself in those situations. Yeah. Like mind the path that your feet walk. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. And, Mm -hmm. you know, it talks about in Proverbs of of not turning to the left mm-hmm. or to the right. And mm-hmm. so there's some practical things of, of um, you know, not just channel surfing uh, mm-hmm. because, you, you know, uh, on satellite television and cable television. Because you know television, anything can pop up. There, yeah, and they're eventually, and, you know, one of the temptations is to do stupid stuff like that um, with the idea that, oh, if I stumble on something by accident, accident. it's not then it actually, doesn't count. It does, yeah. <laughs> How does that um, not count? <laughs> yeah. Um, that sort of thing. So right. be, be really honest with yourself and bring everything out into the light. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things, and this is, again, uh, was a great paradigm of, of looking at things uh, that I got from John Piper, a temptation is always trying to make you a promise Mm -hmm. of satisfaction Mm -hmm. and fulfillment. And so sometimes it's really helpful to recognize um, what what is actually what's the legitimate human, human desire right. that is now uh, being twisted, twisted and tempted mm-hmm. by a lying promise? Mm, that's so uh, good. You mm-hmm. know, be, for example, to look at porn. Um, is a, is a desire oftentimes for connection, intimacy, to be holding, um, Purpose. very, very, mm-hmm. you know, this just that desire for intimacy, intimacy. that mm-hmm. oftentimes is connection. not being met in a legitimate way. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you realize, okay, there's a there's a promise being made. Look here. And that will satisfy through mm-hmm. the eyes of the flesh your desires for connection, not being lonely, uh, experiencing intimacy. Mm-hmm. And that's a lie. That and is. when you recognize mm-hmm. it's not your desire for intimacy that's it's wrong. wrong. And absolutely it's not, not your desire for connection that's wrong, but that that is now a false promise. Mm-hmm. And so 
the way of escape is is saying i'm taking my desire for intimacy my desire for connection and i'm going to submit, it submit to that lord. to the lord and really <laughs> pursue that like you, you can't shut off that desire for no. intimacy that that would be buddhism right right but jesus <laughs> you've got to do that you've got to be my fulfillment you do mm -hmm. need to do the first step which is buddhism right which is it which is uh, in agreement with buddhism but they anything that's good that's true that works is actually stolen from, from the gospel mm -hmm. <laughs> in some way uh and so when when you uh, let go of the world, detach your desires um, for happiness from the things of this world. That's good. But the next step <laughs> is pursue that happiness. You can't just shut off your desires. Right, right. Pursue it in God. Mm -hmm. Pursue it in fellowship mm -hmm. with him mm -hmm. uh, or even in legitimate ways that God opens up for you. Mm -hmm. um, call a friend up and have some good, good fellowship, fellowship. Mm -hmm. uh, those kind mm -hmm. of things. You know, you're kind of hitting on something that um, that the the kind of a two part thing of, mm. of cutting things off that I was hoping to discuss a little bit too was just the um, idea of um, sin consciousness and mm. um, you know maybe there's a particular area where um, you struggle a lot and, mm. and there's some some weakness there or whatever and you um, the the way to develop mature get stronger in that area is not to focus on that and say i'm not going to do that i'm not going to do that i'm not going to do <laughs> yeah. that i'm not going to do that right. because what that does is you're focusing on what you're not going to do yes. and it's kind of like saying don't think about that purple elephant over there right you know i mean immediately you you think about that um because you're that's what your focus is drawn to mm -hmm. um and and again this is the wisdom of god saying you don't need to focus on that. Right. Uh, you, you've got this rock that you yeah. can focus on. And, 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 and he is the way. It's not a way. It's the way. Um, uh, and, you know, again, like we talked about what John Piper was talking about, when we really believe God for the truth that, that he, he loves us and he wants to he wants us to be happy. He wants to be our delight and the mm -hmm. source of our delight. Again, that that focus, that shift of I'm not going to do this or I or I can't do this to get my happiness anymore. Right. It just it, it it's not that big a deal anymore. It's like why would I want garbage when I've got gold? Right. The, you know, and it that applies to not just uh, sexual <laughs> temptation, but no, just the, every, like for example, yeah. the temptation to be anxious. Right. Oh, the that's temptation a to thing fret. People, mm -hmm, to be fearful. Yeah. Uh, to is give in to fear. Because, you know, you begin to imagine, and sometimes um, what happens is not a good promise is made, but a bad promise is made. Mm -hmm. If you don't get this job, then your finances are going to be ruined. Mm -hmm. Or if, um, if you're, um, you know, if, if so-and-so doesn't make this decision that affects you, that, that, you know, you're going to, your life is going to be terrible. <laughs> well, or a court case doesn't get the right <laughs> verdict right, or something that, like right, that, right. or, or the right president doesn't get in office, you know, that that's the end. Or if America goes <laughs> down the tubes and becomes communist, that, we're that right. somehow <laughs> that means that the church in Jesus Christ can't thrive. Right. Um, mm -mm. Not, not that we would ever wish that because communism might mean that the church thrives through martyrdom, right? Sure. Uh, Cause that's been the case in China and the case in Russia. And so, and um, but all that said, you know, in Psalm 37, it says, fret not because it leads only to evil doing. Absolutely. It leads only to evil, evil doing. doing. Mm -hmm. And so, but what's the solution is to realize that the security that you're looking for, the, it, God is that rock. He is that mm -hmm. ever flowing supply mm -hmm. that, you, that <laughs> can't be cut off from you. Paul said, you know, no matter what's going on, nothing can separate, separate us, us from, the love, from the love of God in Christ Jesus. So when you yeah. let that be your source of security, that your source of delight, um, that it, it really, I think going back to what you were saying about the difference between being temptation or sin consciousness, this is what actually set me free in some significant ways to realize that God's really only asking, um, pursue fellowship with me, pursue your joy in me, rejoice in me, delight in me, mm -hmm. um, that he's, that, that when you are pursuing that and enjoying fellowship with God is your primary thing, 
we really walk in a freedom from sin, sin. freedom from yes. temptation. So God's really saying, be so conscious of me, so aware of who I am and who you are to me and, and of my presence in your life that you don't let anything intrude on that. Right. And so it's not just, okay, I know God wants me to be good. And so you're just thinking about moral rules and principles and your behavior. Mm -hmm. When you become obsessed with your behavior, you just fall into and Romans don't. 7 <laughs> because you want to do good, but, but the, the power to, to do, do it, it isn't, isn't in you. Mm -hmm. um, you have to let Jesus be your, your supply mm -hmm. of goodness. Mm -hmm. And so when you just cling to him and fellowship with him and enjoy him, you will walk in freedom spontaneously. It will be an mm -hmm. accident that you're hardly mm -hmm. even and thinking about mm -hmm. a lot of times. Right. That's how he transforms our character and our life. Right. And like we've talked on other podcasts, you know, foundational to do that, you know, you got to spend time alone with the Lord. Amen. And, but, he, but he's not just in your prayer closet. You know, yeah. he wants to be with you all through the day. And so there's just little things you can do too, to turn your, turn your focus to him of just even if just calling on his name yeah. or whispering a prayer or speaking in tongues briefly, you know, while you're doing kind of washing dishes or a mindless task right. kind of thing. Um, those kind of things all go towards strengthening yourself and, and yeah. him and, and getting, getting that focus on him and enjoying what he has for you there. Exactly. Yeah. You know, um, one of my favorite verses is Second Timothy two twenty two. Um, Paul tells Timothy, "Flee youthful lusts mm -hmm. and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart." Yes. And you know, it's interesting to me that Paul spent very little time telling Timothy to flee. Right. right. Flee well, youthful just, lusts. Right. You're going to be going the other direction. But pursue, yeah, <laughs> pursue faith, love, and peace. Along, along with, with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. You're not meant to do it alone. That's so important because <laughs> yeah. here he is, the the church planting leader to point to leader of leaders to appoint mm -hmm. elders. He's in the midst of a hostile church situation that if he's not careful, um, you know, you can get all caught up in the drama mm. and you can worry a lot about he said, she said. I mean, that is a youthful lust. He's not just talking about, you know, don't Love don't get tempted by the young maidens. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, he's talking about that desire to always be first, to always be right, to care so much about Ambi what everybody else ambitious. thinks about you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught up in that. Flee that. Forget that stuff. Mm -hmm. Pursue faith, love and peace and righteousness and along mm -hmm. with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Mm -hmm. It's so good. You've got to, to make transformation and walking like Jesus, your pursuit. It's your passion. Right. And you find those people that are running that direction. Um, and how do you know they're calling on the Lord of pure heart? Because you're praying with people. With them, right. You're fellowshipping with the Lord mm -hmm. with people. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's so good to remember, you know, there is no such thing as a private temptation. Oh, this doesn't hurt anybody. No. You know, it affects Every, you. It affects you and, and, and you're and, in the and, body. And then you, yeah. <laughs> you're a part of the body. You know, you know, if your finger gets infected, guess what? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that right. infection flows out into the body mm -hmm. if it's not dealt with at the finger. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, yeah. it's really important, brothers and sisters, to do that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Larry Crabb had a really neat illustration. He mm -hmm. said uh, that as long as we're in this world, that sin in the flesh is like a, a constant downward pull, mm -hmm. like the pull of gravity. Um, but in Christ, we actually get jet engines, oh. <laughs> right? right? But here's the cool thing is that it's a daily walk and it's a moment by moment because you can break the power of the pull of sin through the law of the spirit, the spirit of, of life, life that's in Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus breaks the law of sin, sin and death, death right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's not just talking about rules. It's talking about like the law of gravity. It's talking about power, Principles. the principle mm -hmm. that is operating. Mm -hmm. right. The power of, the, of life in Christ Jesus is the only thing that breaks the power of sin. Um, and so you need to continually be walking in the life of Christ. You have to live by his life, by his spirit, by his power, his identity inside of you, not trying to achieve something, um, but actually just recognizing who he is and who he is in you and who you are through that, that 
and you can't flip the engines off and say, you know what? I have had a really good day. You know, I've, I've had three <laughs> weeks that I haven't, on the tarmac. I've had three weeks that I haven't smoked dope. You know, I think I can light one up. Uh, or yeah, why would you want to do that? <laughs> yeah. I haven't looked at porn for a month. You know, I, I think it's time to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, those wrong kind of direction. Like, no, That's not pursuing. What happens when you, when you flip the engines off on a plane at 30,000 feet, you know, <sighs> that, gravity just kicks in right it's and, a principle right? and it's gonna be an ugly crash we don't want that mm -hmm. sin brings death right nothing uh, good comes of that nothing good comes of and crash. it's good to remember that because one of the temptations is the passing pleasures of sin mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there are there is they some are pleasure but it's very passing and yes. so you got to fight passing pleasures versus with, eternal with pleasures forevermore at, at your, your right, right hand. hand yeah i know the psalm that you're yeah. thinking of too. yeah yeah so i mean what do you want do you want to you know um, run out and get a, a large order of McDonald's fries uh, at one o'clock on Thanksgiving Day, or do you want to wait until two o'clock on Thanksgiving and Day have. and have a huge meal? Yeah, yeah. you know that's that's so the much way. Better. That's the way we got to think about it. Yeah, yeah, and we have a really good father that again he does he's not withholding, mm -hmm. and kind of that original um, misbelief of God with Adam and Eve is that he was God was holding out on them. Yes. You know, but um, but he's not. And so for our minds to be renewed and, and changed in the fact that, you know, my dad loves me and he wants what's best for me. So, again, mm. that that this is good and I'm not going to I'm not going to give up what's the best and what's gold for what's rubbish. Right. You know, I imagine it probably had to be a real temptation for Paul to become discouraged and to be um, to be frustrated sometimes because he was held as a prisoner upon a political pawn mm -hmm. uh, for the last years of his the life of when Israel. his mm -hmm. when when so much turmoil was happening in his ministry um, and he he had I'm sure second uh, thoughts about why did I appeal to Caesar because now <laughs> this guy comes you know a couple of weeks later and says we could have let him go if he hadn't appealed yeah, to Caesar right. and the, all the woulda coulda should have and mm -hmm. now I'm stuck on a boat with a you know, in hurricane season and mm -hmm. they won't listen to me, mm -hmm. but rather than becoming bitter mm -hmm. and becoming uh, sour about it, he chose to recognize I am in the hands of God right? and mm -hmm. he is fulfilling his purpose and he found his contentment. You know, he was free in Christ. Yeah. Um, you know, they can't bind my spirit. I have access to the love of God. Nothing can separate me. You know, that, that wasn't just theology to Paul. That yes, was what, experience. that was his testimony. <laughs> that was his testimony. He was yeah. encouraging brothers and sisters with. Yes. So it's so important to recognize, you know, that whatever we face and the temptations that come through that, um, that if we will continue to pursue Christ in that, God does some beautiful, glorious things. Yes. And through us, we'll be able to encourage other people. I, I think sometimes, you know, somebody might be listening to this and saying, well, you can't expect us to be perfect. I no. mean, good grief, right. you know, because and, and what's funny is our flesh so sympathizes with compromise, temptation, the flesh. taking the easy <laughs> route, you know, like, good, you know, I mean, you can't expect me to be nice after they treated me you this like way, that, right. you know, mm -hmm. that temptation to pop off and retaliate. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can't expect me not to be nervous or, or, or to fret when, mm -hmm. when when I've got these stack of bills and, on, sure. and my husband just lost his job or, you know, all these sorts of things that we justify yeah. the flesh. We lower the bar. We lower. And and some of the the greatest gains in Christ are recognizing, wait a second, he's made us one with his son. Yeah. He mm -hmm. and so he really believes that he can so impart his life into us that, according to Ephesians, that we're transformed into Christ. That mm -hmm. is what God is doing in our life, mm -hmm. and that's a daily battle. He says, "Well, I looked like Jesus yesterday." <laughs> <laughs> and Paul said, "You know, I forget what lies Life's things behind. Lie, lie behind. I keep continually press forward what lies mm -hmm. ahead, um, uh, and lay hold of that for which I was laid hold of for. Uh, right. We were laid hold of to bear the image and likeness of God." Mm -hmm. Uh, so yes. that is really encouraging yeah. to remember uh, that 
there is no temptation that can bring us down. If you are a brother and sister in Christ, you're born again. Uh, you literally have jet engines. You can break mm -hmm. the power of gravity. You are no longer a slave of sin. You have the way of escape. <laughs> Yet sin does abide. It remains, but it doesn't remain in you, your your spirit, your identity. Mm -hmm. It remains in the flesh. Oh. It mm -hmm. remains in the flesh. Um, and it's just as ugly, and it never leaves so long as we are in this body. Right. The flesh isn't going to get improved. No. Not at all. But that's it not... It just needs to be put down. <laughs> you know, that, I'm so glad you said that because one of the things that I used to do is, in a, this is real big in our culture, is <laughs> almost do this psychoanalysis psych, psych, psycho of your flesh. If you can just figure out, you know, what's wrong and, and you know, nurse the wounds right. and so to speak, that, that somehow that will help you to improve. And the truth is Instead something... Instead of being less impatient, just know, just be patient. <laughs> yeah. but, and, and to me, the, the, here's, a, here's an interesting... Watchman Nee one time was asked by a sister in the Lord, please, brother, pray for me for that, patience. that yeah. I might have patience. Yeah, I know and his, his response to her was, no, no I, I won't, won't pray, pray such a thing for you. And she looked shocked, and She's because like, she had a, what God she wants, had, she had a difficult husband and mm -hmm. home life and mm -hmm. those kind of things, and he said to her, "No, I won't pray such a thing for you." Mm -hmm. And she said, "Why not?" And he said, "Because this is not God's plan to make you patient. Mm -hmm. I will pray for you this that God opens up your heart so that you are filled with Christ, Christ. that mm -hmm. you want only Him." And when you are filled and want only him, his patience, his will, patience fill will fill you and mm -hmm. work through you. Absolutely. Because, and, and that's so wonderful to realize God's plan is not to make us something as much as it is to fill us with someone. That's, right. <laughs> that's so mm -hmm. powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, and so our only job is to fellowship with Jesus, to love him. Mm -hmm. He said, if you love me, you, you will keep my commands. So he's not saying, listen, prove your love for me So by keeping my commands. He's no. saying, focus on loving, loving me. me. Just you, love me. It's going to come natural, supernaturally. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that loving him is what op opens, opens up the, the channel mm -hmm. for the Holy Spirit to flow from the Spirit in, through our hearts soul. to transform our minds mm -hmm. and our life and our behavior. Absolutely. Just loving Jesus. That is not a hard job description, <laughs> brothers and sisters. It's so easy to love him. He's so yeah. lovely. He's so amazing. Yeah, but absolutely. that's what sets us free from doing any. You don't want to hurt someone that you love. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. Now, what about one of the things that I think is a, a stumbling block for a lot of people is that they come into this revelation of who they are in Christ, of the amazing grace of God. And the temptation comes up. And they think, well, I'll just do it now and then ask, ask for forgiveness yes. later, mm -hmm. right? What would you say to that? Mm. Well, if Christ is in you, I mean, just <laughs> could you imagine Jesus doing that? Yeah. You know, when he's faced with temptation, I'll just do this now. And then, yeah, no, it would yeah. have been blown. I'm just going to punch Peter in the nose and then I'll repent. And Father. Part, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it's just, it, it's not characteristic of the life of the life in us. I mean, to recognize even that, that in and of itself is a temptation. Hey, I'll do it now. And, mm. and, um, that's really an abuse of grace yeah. instead of it um, being uh, used and fulfilled the way God intended. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, the, the thing that challenged me in this, um, you know, I, I don't believe that it's right to tell people, well, God won't forgive you I mean, because that uh, that's not true. The first John one nine says that if, if we confess, confess our sins, God's faithful and righteous. Focus. And it's unfortunately sometimes we we presume on God's grace and mm -hmm. think that, well, I'll just sin. And we abuse the grace of God because mm. listen, God doesn't give us the grace of God because he understands we're going to sin. Sometimes he didn't no. give us the grace as a, as a, um, of Jesus as a license to to mess up as mm -hmm. much as we want. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So, but here's the the thing that really 
uh, he gave us the grace of God so that we would never be trapped in shame and sin and guilt and that we, we could always step right back into the fellowship of mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the thing that helped me is recognizing um, that my sin directly impacts G- Jesus Christ and, and, the, and, and God, God that, mm-hmm. you know, we sometimes think that, well, because the cross others. is settled, that somehow our sins aren't affecting anybody. Wait a second. Paul says, don't grieve the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Mm-hmm. And God has promised, I will never leave you or, or forsake you. And I, I believe that. But the challenge is he dwells inside of us and he literally is affected by everything that we do. Mm -hmm. Um, And you do not want to grieve Grieve the the one who is most precious to Mm -hmm. you. We're going to spend forever gazing upon the face of our Lord Mm -hmm. Jesus and and, and even now realizing that he went to the cross to bear my sin. Mm -hmm. Um, So this, when I understood the timelessness of God, I began to realize something that when I sin now, yeah, as a believer, mm-hmm. not only do I grieve the Holy Spirit, that grief has to find resolution because God is not grieved in eternity, mm-hmm. right? He's mm-hmm. not eternally mm-hmm. grieved. Mm-hmm. There was a place where the grief of God was reconciled, mm-hmm. and that is the cross of Jesus Christ. Christ. So right. what I recognize is that my sin right now in 2021 mm-hmm is impacting the the experience of Jesus Christ on the cross thir- in 32 AD. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, That's kind of mind-boggling. That he's but literally it's... connected with that through the eternal spirit. Mm-hmm. That, um, and, you, you know, if you, if you just knew that, um, you know, when you... Um, Every time you run a red light that, you know, one of your children's toes was going to get smashed with a hammer or yeah, something like sure. that. You, you, you know what I mean? You, right. It's you, that. You recognize, wait a second. Some responsibility. Someone is impacted by my behavior, even my private behavior mm-hmm. that I think someone, no one, no knows, one sees and no it's only me. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, when, when, when God opened that up to me and showed me that. I was so humbled Absolutely. and even now it's, it's hard humbling. not to cry okay. yeah. um, because um, Jesus is so amazing the love of that God. he humbled himself and that yeah. the Holy Spirit Absolutely. humbles himself to not leave. I'll just, I'll just stay here and be grieved um, mm-hmm. because I love you that much because I'm looking for you to turn back, right. you know, uh, right. so. And I want you to turn back, so I'll stay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, brothers and sisters, uh, <laughs> this isn't, I guess, is encouraging, but it does encourage our holiness, you know. Yes. And so um, we really appreciate you um, mm-hmm. being with us. And we hope that this has encouraged you and empowered you to walk in more freedom, mm-hmm. uh, more victory, more joy. Um, and so, listen, if you find yourself that you're caught in something and, and you're really struggling with sin, don't uh, struggle alone. Get a brother That's or sister in the huge. Lord um, and be radical. Jesus said, listen, if your hand is causing you to stumble, cut, cut it, it off. off. If your eye is causing you to stumble, mm-hmm. pluck it out. If, you know, if you're having a difficult time with the Internet. Um, Flee yeah, and you, pursue love. <laughs> go, go to a cell phone store. Um, trade your smartphone in for a flip phone. Sure. Uh, get rid of it's your laptops. It. Sell them. You know, do everything mm-hmm. that you can. Be radical. To uh, to be radically for the after love of God. Um, holiness and and um and yeah. and find a brother or sister. Call on the uh, who's calling on the Lord from a pure heart that you can walk in the light with. Yeah. Uh, that Help you're not other. sitting in the dark because listen, First John one seven. We walk in the light light. is he himself and is in the light. See, you're going to experience the fellowship of Jesus in the light. Um, And the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. So it doesn't mean that that walking in the light is a sinless perfection, Mm -hmm. but it means you don't hold on to it. Mm -hmm. You confess your sins one to another and pray for Mm -hmm. one another that you may be Mm -hmm. healed. Uh, So brothers and sisters, please, we encourage you uh, Mm -hmm. take this this message uh, to heart. Uh, walk in victory because yes. that's all this it's is about. Mm-hmm. Don't just love Jesus that mm-hmm. because He's so lovely. Yes. We uh, we so love, worth it. Yeah. So 
Tina, thank you for bringing this uh, topic up today. Sure. And um, <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> we have additional resources at our website, fullspeedimpact.com. There is a Sons and Daughters uh, podcast Facebook group. And so if you're not a part, please be put on part of that. And if you are part of that, please give us some ideas. Give us some feedback. Comment mm-hmm. on these uh, what would you studio like to videos. Hear? What would you like to discuss? Um, where you get the podcast. Uh, we would love it if you would rate it. It helps other people find the podcast. And uh, if you know people that would be blessed by this, share it with them Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, that this can, this kind of encouragement uh, can, can be part of their lives as well. So Mm -hmm. brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining us. We release a new podcast next Friday at noon, one every week. uh, And we will see you next week. But in the meanwhile, walk in the fullness of Jesus Christ in impact. Mm -hmm.